Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we have got for you something potentially quite exciting today. That should not be in there, go away. We have got something potentially quite exciting today. We are looking at our very first deck tech of the Kaldheim season, and we're going to get things started with a personal favorite of mine, which is a familiar taste. And then if you finish the sentence, of poison so we today are looking at death touch tribal and we've got some different things going on here all of which link together and actually become an incredibly fun not necessarily competitive but incredibly fun deck to play at the moment uh, with everything being up in the air um shameless self plug like subscribe click bell notifications on below uh Dolphin model shop get your stuff in there thanks self plug over now, looking back again at Death Touch Tribal, it's a relatively low on the curve deck. Um, now, we're running some snow stuff in here, and we're going to get to why in a minute. This is a best of three deck, not necessarily a best of one. So the reasons we are doing these things are as follows. We have got, to begin with, um, very, as I've said, low-cost creatures. So we're starting with uh, four copies of Blood Sheast Thirst. It's a bit of removal. Pff, why not? Why wouldn't you? This is the best potentially removal piece in standard at the moment. Um, and then four copies of Falmire Knight uh, for the reason of gain, uh, drawing cards and then obviously a one drop Death Touch creature as well. We've got four copies of Heartless Act because we love a bit of removal in this deck. And that both pieces of removal here tie in very nicely with Cheville, um, who didn't see a lot of play last season. That, that saddens me because he should have done. It's a nice card, really cool card. Uh, four copies of Maya Triton because uh, Death Touch and get a little bit of life gain and then some milling into graveyards which we'll come on to in a minute and then of course the big boy in the deck and by big boy i mean uh finn the fang bearer so death touch one three legendary human warrior whenever a creature you control with death touch deals combat damage to a player that player gets two poison counters now poison counters that's my jam um i started playing magic back in new phyrexia and scars of mirrodin when infect was like a big thing um so in fact uh creatures dealt damage in the form of minus one minus one counters and two players in the form of poison counters if you reach 10 poison counters you lose the game it's so horrid i also run an attractor commander deck which my friends hate before um which is also in fact and that basically turns any game of commander into arch enemy and i'm dead in four turns but there we go that's just life that's how it works so the objective with this is to control the board and swing through for poison damage as opposed to anything else but just in case that doesn't work we've got some additional bits here in the form of some funky stuff so we're running agadim's awakening and call of the dwarf della for reanimation purposes only um bringing creatures back that have been killed early on which is why we've got falmire knight in here uh, so Agadim's Awakening, we can cast for five and bring back uh, Finn and Falmire Knight. It's nice and simple, nice and quick. Call the Dwef Della exactly the same. But then we're uh, continuing the curve a little bit in the middle by running Lurus in the main board, which is why his companions lie over to the side. Um, Lurus, of course, able to reanimate the two drop creatures that we've got. Um, and then we're also running four copies of Hooded Blightfang because why wouldn't you in a Death Touch Tribal deck when it kills people quickly? And then lethal plane, the uh, death touch damage to planeswalkers also applies. And then this guy, <sighs> I put him in and I've done some test games with him and I'm still not convinced it's as good as people say it is. Um, everyone's been very much, oh, it's a tutor. Yeah, for five and mills a big thing right now. Um, so you're essentially setting yourself up to lose stuff, but it is a two, three, it's a half decent body. Um, and if you're not playing Mill, the boast is nice. And you can combine the boast if you've got five mana with Foul Mine Knight. Or if you've got Castle Lock Twain as well, which is why we're running that on the sideboard. And as you can see, we're running four full copies of Questing Beast and two copies of Turn Timber. So that the creatures we've got here come out a little bit bigger. So it's nicely done. It's really cool. Now, land base is a little low, I admit. So we're only running... 18-ish lands in terms of that. But we're also running two Turn Timber and two Agadeems. So, balance is out. Now, the sideboard. Creature heavy decks are a big thing. So, we want removal. But we don't necessarily want our stuff to die as well. And if it's a bigger thing than it should be, then we're actually going to run some pretty good fight mechanics as well. Now, one of the best fight mechanics is Blizzard Brawl. Because it's a one-drop fight. And gives your thing indestructible if you control three snow permanents. I don't care about the indestructible. It's a it's a one drop fight, and we're running six forest and six snow covered swamps. 
So it's 12 sources there. We're going to run two copies of Mystic Repeal because I hate enchantments right now. Um, two copies of Eliminate just as a bit more removal. Two copies of Heroic Intervention to stop uh, Doom Scar blowing other board, which is shockingly not as good as everyone thought it was going to be because there's so many reanimations not options right now. Doom Scar's nowhere near as good as people were expecting. Uh, two copies of the Golgari Elspeth Conquers Death because this card is ridiculously good. Um, and then three copies of Primal Might because, again, it's a one drop fight, but we can stack it and be a bigger creature than they are. And our stuff has Death Touch. The only creatures in this deck, I believe, that don't have Death Touch, well, the only one I believe is Lurus. Everything else has got Death Touch, which you could argue negates Call of the Dwarf Duller, but either or, it doesn't matter. So we're going to play a couple of best of threes and see how they go with this. So, oh, sneak previous mother decks there, aren't you all lucky? Um, our draft is still going on. If you've watched some previous videos, uh, brilliant. I'm still trying to get us into the next draft. Oh, another one there. So we're going to play some traditional standard and some traditional death touchy style standard at that as well. Hope everyone is well today. It's a crap day by the River Thames. Uh, and hopefully as well soon, we're going to have some more videos for you, including um, the decks that you've just seen being uh, talked through and explained as well. And then also some unboxing of some set boosters from Cal Time 2. 20 second wait time. We could be mismatched. But we'll see how this goes. Hello, Sock and Lock. That's a great name. Is it? I don't know. It probably isn't. So we are going to play first because we want to be on the play with this deck. That is a half decent hand, everyone. So we are going to keep. We're going to run our way through this. We are going to go straight into a turn one for my knight. Hopefully he doesn't get any creature down on the board at all, which would be wonderful. Now, the joke here is we've also got enough to be able to cast Loras as well. Oh, this could be a good game. So, Snow-Covered Forest into Finn. Swing with a full Knight, and we're already a fifth of the way to winning on turn two, which isn't bad going for a Death Touchy kind of deck. So he's played a Tormentor's Helm in standard. That's all we have to say. Um, could be Mono Red Aggro. If so, it's not very aggressive right now. Um, but we'll see where this goes from here. I think what we're going to do next is we're probably going to drop Blightfang on the next turn, depending on what he does, which is he waits for Tells, which is a mad play. We'll bring out Hooded Blind Fang, comes down, and we're going to swing in, and we're now draining him, like Poison would do, and then giving him four more Poison Counters, and we need to hit him twice more with Poison to win the game. Twice more Poison. Oh boy. There's his Berserkers. This is a good start going to equip one of the berserkers okay so it's gonna be one of these kind of decks that's fine we can't play our questing beast that's all right so instead we're gonna swing first and see what happens we're gonna drain him for three one two three he can then only block two of these guys which means the rest is gonna die i'm not particularly fussed about that happening there so let's kill off his board he'll get two poison counters Finn was on the field and then we're gonna drop in loris for next turn and play our full Meyer Knights. We're back up to having a full board currently. So we'll see how this goes into the next turn. Making a dwarf. Unless he can remove luck. Nah, I think that's it, people. That's it. That's game. Down comes Finn. Swing in. Drain for uh, two again. He's got to block both death touches. Or he loses the game. That's fine. We're still racking up there, and we're going to bring in Maya Triton as well. Mill ourselves for a couple more. Not the most we wanted to see. But hopefully, next turn we can get some damage through. Let's see what else he can bring out. So he's got five land and a Tormentor's Helm. He's on six life, and we're on 32. I'll tell you what, we've stormed this. And that's game. So there we go. That's game one. Easy done. People do not like this deck. Um, he's playing some creature removally stuff. Uh, I imagine he's going to have a few more in there. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to drop a heart, two heartless acts, and we're going to put in a um, one blizzard brawl, two primal might, and we'll drop a questing beast. I think I'm going to drop Varith as well. Completely Varith or partly Varith? One Varif for 
a heroic intervention. So a few more spells. And we'll see how we get on on this next bit. Going to round two with our Finn Poison deck. That is a much worse hand than I envisioned it would be. Um, it's not quick enough. Let's remove it. That is much worse again. Screwed over by mulligans here. That's three mulligan screws. Oh, that's... Oh, we'll be returning four and keeping a hand of three. Let's concede round two. So he doesn't know what we've done. That's awful right there. So we go straight into round three. We won't make any changes. We'll keep the changes we had. He probably won't know what's going on. We go straight into this game. We don't know what he's sideboarded, so we're going in blind. We've got to win this game because those horrible mulligan screws. But it does mean we're going first again. Uh, that is better. So we've got some early removal, so we'll keep this. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully. Some better things than we've already experienced. Chances are he's probably putting some shocks into his deck as well, because quite a lot of our stuff is one or two toughness. Interesting. Okay, there's our green. Fine, let's my Triton. That's unfortunate. Uh, we've already got... Well, next turn we'll have our three snow-covered permanents, or snow permanents. So Blizzard Brawl will give whatever we now decide to fight indestructible as well, so this is good news. So this is his second, so this will be very small Tormentor's Helm. There's our three permanents, and we're going to swing in for three. It's going to be pausing every so often now. Uh, if you ever play someone with Shadow Spirit, the gate pauses every now and then, so it can trigger off the uh, permanents lose Hexproof and Indestructible, which is quite helpful for him, I suppose. <sighs> That's unfortunate for him, though. Two land. We're going to drop Finn again. And hopefully Finn does something for us because he's pondering at the moment, this guy. Okay, then drop in Finn, drop in that, and let's have a swing. Do three damage. Oh, he's going to concede. So there we go. That's game one, and fully game one to us right there. We are doing well so far, so we'll do one more with this as a test. Remember, all of our games are always live. I don't go through and edit, oh, best bits, because it's not a fair reflection. Um, so we do fair reflections here, so you get to see the live gameplay as it happens, when it happens, with who it happens with. That sounds creepier than it intended to, but let's keep playing some games against Gulder. Whoever this guy is, he sounds cool. That's awful. That is better. And we'll drop a snow-covered swamp. Okay. Nice. This could be interesting. Yep. I'm going into nights, everyone. On Death Touch Knight. There we go. I think we're going to get land screwed here. Traditionally, if you've ever played Arena enough, you'll find that two lands, you get your land screwed later on in the game. If you get four lands or more, you get flooded. There's never any sort of middle ground. Someone over the road is moving. That's cool. I like that card. Um, I will happily block that. Doesn't bother me at all. You've just wasted your card. Finn. Forest, swing, one damage, two poison guys. The downside to Ray the Rank should have been creatures of the chosen type. Not creature types, creatures of the chosen type. Oh, look at you feeling your board up, mate. Uh, we're going to go black. We can drop in Laris. Jokers, you've got to block every single time. I will happily take the extra draw. I don't think you realize how happy I'm going to be taking the extra draw. Because losing life doesn't bother me at this stage at all. 
definitely not going to bother him because we're not aiming to kill him with life. We're aiming to kill him with poison. This is a really nice... I love the artwork on the, on the MDSAs. They're really cool. Sorry, cassette lands. A-side and B-side. But there we go. Really cool. Yeah, I will, I'll take six. Again, doesn't phase me. Cool, 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 cool. Drop in that. All right, let's start clearing the board a little bit. So we're going to blood cheese first on the worthy knight. Stop you getting some presents. And then we're going to drop in Cheville. We're not going to swing. Yet. This is a brilliant idea. So we can now block the stuff. Really helpful. Look at that. Look at you filling your board. Are you giving plus one plus zero two? That's fair. Okay, what are we blocking? Let's kill off this. How much is that going to be? 5, 9, 12. Oh, that's perfect. That's irritating. Let's Cheville in front of Fervent Champion. You might have us here, sadly. Knights have just gone wide. This was a great inclusion. He's drawn brilliantly off of that. Like, really well. Okay, so we're going to bring us down and it's going to be black. What we're then going to do is going to hooded Blight Fang. And then call the Dwarf Teller on both of the remaining creatures in the air. Uh, Death Touch and Menace and Cheville. And then we are now going to have to swing with Luris to gain some life back. This takes us to six. We're going to drop to five. I think that might be game. Oh, entering is a full three. The buffs off of these creatures is amazing. Just one, huh? We're going to put the counter on... Stormfist. Uh, you're not helpful at this stage, Laris. I'm sorry to say. It's a questing beast. Let's do anything. Let's drain him. He just killed himself. Huh. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Should we do one more? We've won two out two so far. Purely because of that absolute misplay on his part. That was incredible. Right. We will do one more. That was funny. Yeah, sure. Let it all throw. Oh, and you're dead. Oh, shame. Someone doesn't read cards. We did all the right plays there, though, I believe. I think we did. We blocked when we needed to. Otherwise, if we hadn't killed that other worthy knight early on, that board would have gone boom, wide. However, that's giving me a new idea for a human's build. Don't tell anyone I said that. It always gets on. Uh, sure. I like the hidden owl in this snake hold forest. That's really cool. The artwork and all the snows is really nice. I don't think there's anything hidden in there. There we go. Two land. We might get screwed on land on this. But we've got three copies of my truck. Uh, you might have to worry about that. Not terrible to go into the yard. Could be better. Not terrible, though. So what are you doing with your day? This is Jess guy something, surely. No Yorian. There's a plus. Uh, Strock, Abedim's tapped. Thin it up. Hit for two. And two boys. Uh, 
interesting to see where he takes his next turn. That's where he takes it. Which is fine. Let's heartless act this. I'll have a 2-2. Two -two. That's fine. And then to blood first cheek the wall because we don't understand how annoying they can be. Let's hit for two. No, he's going to two, but oh well. I'm going to foretell something. How exciting for him. Uh, let's go Maya Triton. Mill two. We're just going to go a little bit aggy now, I think. No, we're not. He might have a Doom Scar. Let's hold. There you go. There it is. Mm. I'm going to draw. That's fine. How can we bring back? Nothing yet. That is Falmo. This is just going to be a horrible control deck to play against, isn't it? Double Omen? That's mad. Okay, and then we'll Cheville. End the turn there. This is target creature, isn't it? Uh, yeah, creature planes for double Doom Scar. I did just slag that card off as well. Right at the beginning of the video, I slagged that card off, and actually, it's the biggest pain we have. Uh, Cheville and Felmire again. That's going to be another Doom Scar. I think we can all predict that. Thank you so much. I'm going to Blood Chief this. Just so I can have a draw and a three life off of Cheville. Thank you so much. Let's not play anything else for fear of that being another Doom Scar. Hit there. End the turn. Doom Scar me, baby. Doom Scar me. That's somehow worse. That's questing based. If I can keep hitting. That is fine. God, it busted. I don't think we're going to stand much of a chance again this deck. Now we get the land we didn't need at the beginning. Uh, let's do call and get back just the blind thing. This is odd. That's annoying. So you've got to do four damage to him this turn, so you've got to draw questing base. Have to draw it. Or one of those. This resolves. He's got to block both the death touches or he loses. Says so the drain. Are we somehow going to pull this out the bag? I don't think we are. Let's not get too hopeful. This is only game one, remember. Goes that five five. Can you put one more counter on it? You can if he plays a pissing land. Ah, that's unfortunate. You should put the counter on this. 
here. Oh, that's annoying. Took control right to the edge. I'm happy with that. So we're going to put in. We're going to take out, rather. I want Loris still in. God. I'm going to take all three copies of Aragoth out. Put in two copies of the old god. And two copies of Heroic. Oh, the fight mechanic could be really helpful. So let's take out two Heartless Axe because you can put counters on stuff. Put in two Blizzard Brawls. Because it's indestructible and kills his stuff off. He's not going to have many creatures out at one time. Um, no, one Blizzard Brawl, one Primal Might. Let's do that. Compromise. We're going to gain two. We're going to play first. Not with a hammer knot. And not with a hammer knot. Oh, God, this is awful. We're seeing this, right? I'm not saying that uh, Arena's rigged. Dude, chances are we're going to concede, so you might as well just pick your seven cards. Returning to return a full mire and a land. That's always the perfect start. It's a shame proliferate. There's no proliferate cards in the set anymore, I don't think. Not in standard anyway. That's going to be Dame Scar. Down comes the land. There it is. Blow up a token and give him something to really panic about. Can only block one. There's Beam Scar. Bring out the Blight Fang. Because why not? Hmm. And that's going to exile that. Oh, here we go. We're going to get out of control now. There's an empty hand. There's your full board. This is going to be it, isn't it? We're not going to do well on this one. Oh, Skycliff Apparition is such a good card. Are people saying ban it? Don't ban it, it's fine. There's no issue with it. It's just a really good card. In for a panic. Why not? It's going to be a Dame Scar he's just foretold again, isn't it? No, he's foretelling something else. Blow you up. I think he's just lost. Is he going to block that? Well, he doesn't realise he still gets the counter stuff of this. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Christ. Go us. This is going well. Mm. Let's keep it. Oh, God. Come on, we can do this. We can definitely do this. We hope. No, we can't do this. 
We can do that. Drop. Agadine. He doesn't seem to be holding many essence scatters, which is nice. Let's piss him off by thinking that you've got the same start three turns in a row. Three games in a row. Birth of a Telus, yeah. Miletus, rather, if you prefer. If you prefer being correct. Got the mana for quest base, that's the main thing now. I'm really disappointed that um, Finn didn't read creatures with death touch you control now have infect. That would have been 10 times better. But sadly, no. We're going to keep the Blood Chiefs in hand. What are you going to do? Two full towers. Alright, let's bring you down as green. Blow up this. Get the draw and free life back. And then we'll swing. I'm not requesting beast down because I can guarantee one of those is a doom scar. And there it is. Let's hit that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Binding of the old gods and get rid of ECD. Oh, imagine if we hit questing base with that, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Bring down Blightfang just in case. What worries me is that card there is Steinem Unleashed. Which, if it is now, it's game. It's Yorian. Do I blow up? I'd like another land now, please. That would be really cool. No, but that'll do. And Cheville. And then we should swing. We've hit a blood fang, drain, and hit with death time. If you wanted to put something else in the sideboard, random thought, feed the swarm would be a good one. Get an excellent sideboard piece, feed the swarm. Is he waiting for Felidar Retreat? He must be. There's that. I'm actually going to blow up Yorian. Because I'd rather have the draw off of it. And the three life. Okay. And then next turn, hopefully, we can turn Timber. So let's drain for two, hit for two, take him to eight. It's going well, guys. I must say, I'm genuinely surprised it's gone this far. I should shut up. That's what I should do. I should shut up. But oh well. I could do one card. No, let's have it. Let's risk it. He searches for a blue. He's definitely got a counter, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, interesting. There's the blue. Could we do this? Could we beat blue white control? Unlikely.
Steiner Unleashed is my best guess. Because in what, 11 land now? Can I count? Sorry, my camera's in the way. 11. Oh, we don't have a sweeper either. Turn timber again, why not? That's fine by me. Why is he good games? What's he got? Oh, he's been a knob. Yeah, that'll be getting there. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll call that there. Well done. Well, there we go. Blue eye control, though. Ooh, how boring. Right, we're going to play that at some point. I don't know why I'm saying these things. Okay, thank you very much for sticking with us this far. Hopefully, this has given you some inspiration as to what to do with yours. Um, probably, why are you running Vorinclex? There's no point. We want to be aggressive with it. We want to kill them quickly. It's proven in the first couple of games. You don't want to sit around until turn six and then go and do something. So there we go. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed today. Uh, check out the rest of the videos we've got. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the Model Shop. And I will see you next time.